Hey everybody, welcome to another Sniffleville video. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different than uh, a lot of the others in that it is not really uh, targeted towards WordPress or any specific plugin or theme. Although it is about using WordPress and specifically uh, when you are using a local web server uh, such as uh, XAMP, uh, WAMP server, uh, MAP for Mac and Windows, and uh, also uh, my new favorite, uh, Laragon. Laragon? Laragon, I think is how it's pronounced. Uh, but anyways, one of the things about using a local web server is that uh, you're kind of stuck to uh, whatever system uh, your web server is running on, local web server is running on, uh, to see what your site looks like. And, uh, you know, if it's on a desktop, well, you can see what it looks like in desktop, and there's all sorts of uh, uh, applications or uh, websites you can go to or uh, Chrome Dev Tools, among others, to uh, get a representation of what it looks like on other devices. However, if you have uh, more than one device, or if uh, you have another uh, computer or two on your uh, local network, uh, there is a relatively simple way uh, that you can view uh, your local WordPress sites uh, on any of those devices, including uh, your iPhone or iPad. And it doesn't involve anything to do with vHosts, virtual hosts, and all that kind of rigmarole. I stumbled across it on uh, Stack Overflow here a little while back, and I'm just getting around to do a video on how easy this is to do. Uh, okay, so uh, that said, uh, let's go back. Uh, this is a uh, if uh, this is a local site now uh, running on Laragon, and uh, if you notice up here, I've already switched this over. But normally, when you're running on a local web server, this is what your uh, WordPress address URL and site address URL looks like in, uh, you know, dashboard settings and general, right? However, uh, if set up this way, there's no way you can reach this uh, on another computer on your local network. Uh, for example, here uh, at the Civil Valve Labs, I have uh, my mainframe here, desktop is... Uh, uh, directly wired into my cable modem router, as is my Mac Mini. However, I can't access this on my Mac Mini uh, this way, or my iPhone, or iPad, or Galaxy Tab 4 uh, that I have connected to the uh, cable modem router via Wi-Fi. And uh, <coughs> I just couldn't believe how remarkably simple uh, this is, and I'll just show you right now. Um, I'll bring up the uh, Laragon uh, panel. It's running now, and I'm just going to bring up the XAMP one. These are the two ones I mainly use. I mainly used XAMP before uh, until I found Laragon, and then we'll do another uh, video on this later. But anyways, uh, the reason we want these is we need to get the IP address of the machine or the computer where your local web server is running. Now, this is not your router's IP address or not uh, the generic, you know, 192.198 or 168.0.1. It's the actual address of the machine where the server is running on. So in uh, XAMPP, uh, you go and click on Netstat. Come down here till you find the one with port 80. 
and you'll see it's 192.168.0.98. So that's the one, that's how you'd find it in XAMP. And uh, in Laragon, it's quite easy because they put that right up here in the title bar. So 192.168.0.98. And if you'll notice up here, that's what I have here. And you're saying, well, why does it still say local host? Well, I just put that in there uh, to show you that this is what you'd normally do. So <laughs> this is all you have to do, 192.168.0.98. Right? Enter that in. I'm just going to copy that and paste it here. Hit save changes, and there you go. If we look at the front end, you can see there is the address. Now, <laughs> uh, without getting too terribly uh, involved with everything, I just will sh drag over here a screenshot I did from my iPhone 6S. And you can see here it is 192.168.0. 98 slash SV Labs 1. Same one running on my iPhone, running on my iPad, running on my Galaxy Tab. It's just that super simple, easy. Um, wow, and it is so nice to be able to see exactly what it looks like on the actual device as opposed to an emulator or anything like that. Mind you, you still have to do that if you don't have any of those devices uh, kicking around or if you only have the one computer. Uh, but this, most people have a phone uh, that will do this. So uh, if nothing else, <laughs> that's the handy part. Uh, so anyways, that's about it for this video. And uh, just to go back and to show you, uh, that this is all it takes, right? Just change that to your IP address, right? Where the server is running. And I'll just show you again for your XAMP, right? I, don't, I can't start it because, of course, I already have this one running, but we can run NetStat to find out what's what. So just click that, scroll down until you find the one where HT. TPD EXE is running on, which is on port 80, and this is the number you want for XAMP. Okay, well, I hope you found this useful and uh, will help you uh, get your WordPress websites uh, looking really swell on uh, mobile. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, you know, subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as uh, here on Sniffle Valve, and we'll see you later.